Actually, beautiful question. A 68-year-old man, uh, male, man, with a history of prior myocardial infarction, presents with progressive dyspnea on exertion mm -hmm, and progressive dyspnea on exertion and bilateral lower extremity edema. An echocardiogram confirms a reduced ventricular ejection fraction of 30%, in addition to a diuretic for symptom relief, which the following medication uh -huh. classes has been proven to provide a significant mortality benefit in patients with this condition. Okay, benefit of mortality benefit. Options A, digoxin. No, of course. Next, calcium channel blockers, like I'm, I'm, I'm lodipine. No. Beta blockers, yeah, bisoprolol, metoprolol, that's, that's it, that's it. Nitrates, no, is a sorbit mononitrate, for example, no. So the correct answer is a beta blockers, no, for example, metoprolol. So these questions asks the students, uh, the student to identify a medication that goes beyond just a symptom control and actually improves long-term survival in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. So beta blockers, of course, it's a, or neither, no, or bisoprolol or bisoprolol, metoprolol, carvedilol. This is a correct answer. Along with AC inhibitors, beta blockers are a cornerstone of guidelining the directed medical therapy in ejection in high rate uh, in heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. So what is the mechanism of mortality benefit? While it seems uh, counterintuitive to use a drug that weakens an already weak heart, the benefit comes from blocking the chronic toxic overstimulation of the sympathetic nervous system. The protection, uh, this protection allows the heart to heal and undergo reverse remodeling, leading to improved function and most importantly, a proven reduction in mortality and hospitalization. Only specific beta blockers have, have been proven effective. Metaprolol, succinate, carvedilol and bisoprolol. Bisoprolol sometimes pronounced, doesn't matter. So why are their options are incorrect? Digoxin, this is a classic destructor. Di digoxin is a positive inotrope. That is, it increases the force of contraction and used in uh, uh, and is used in these heart failure types to help control symptoms like dyspnea and fatigue and reduce hospitalizations. However, large clinical trials have shown that it has neutral effect on mortality. It doesn't make patients live longer. Calcium channel blockers, amlodipine, most calcium channel blockers have a negative inotropic effect and are generally avoided or used with extreme caution in patients with heart failure and as they can worsen outcomes. While amlodipine is considered safer, it doesn't provide any mortality benefit in its population. And finally, nitrates are vasodilators used primarily to treat angina and reduce preload to relieve congestion. While they are excellent for symptom control, they have not been shown to improve survival when used alone in the general heart failure population. So while managing a patient with heart failure, the goal is to start them on the big four classes of drugs that provide the mortality benefit. And the kinks are beta blockers and or AC inhibitor. Stay blessed.